Hello and welcome to this demonstration uh, in the course for uh, secure systems engineering. So, we will be looking at another demonstration of for how the heap works. Uh, we will take a small program, uh, you could actually download this program from your virtual box um, and uh, run this program preferably from your virtual box. Uh, the program is called t1.c and it is a very small program. So, what it, it does is that uh, uh, we define two pointers x and y both are character pointers. We first malloc uh, 15 bytes for x and uh, then we free uh, x then later we also malloc 13 bytes for y and then we free y. This is a very simple program and let us see how it actually uh, executes. So, what we are actually printing uh, in these two printf statements is the address of x and y. Uh, as before, we will make clean and make it and run the program. And what you see over here surprisingly is that both x and y get the same address. So, what this means is that the data corresponding to x can be accessed by y and vice versa. The reason this happens that x and y get the same uh, address is that internally pt malloc manages all the free chunks of data in list. Uh, so, therefore, when we malloc x of 15 bytes, we have a chunk of data in the heap corresponding to x. When x gets freed, this malloc chunk gets uh, part of a linked list. Since this is the first malloc that is done in the program, therefore, in this particular point in time, the uh, list has just one chunk that is available and that chunk is x. Now, when malloc is invoked again, uh, pt malloc would first look into these free uh, lists and identify if there is a chunk which can satisfy the this particular request. Now, in this particular case, we have a list uh, and in that list, we have one chunk that is present corresponding to the freed x chunk and therefore, this chunk gets allocated to y. Therefore, what would happen over here is that y and x would obtain the same chunk of memory and therefore, would have the same address and this is the reason why x and y uh, would have the same address. Now, uh, the result of course, would vary depending on uh, the size of the mallocs that was requested. Now, in this particular case, uh, 15 and 13 are relatively close. So, uh, they fall within the same uh, free list. If for example, we, uh, we would have allocated something which is much larger, uh, let us say uh, 32 bytes like this, then malloc will not be able to use the, will not be able to reuse that freed chunk of memory which was just freed from x and would have to allocate something bigger. And therefore, if we have uh, 15 followed by 32 which was requested by the mallocs, x and y would get different chunks. Uh, so, we can verify this again by something like this. And what we see over here is that uh, x and y are of uh, different addresses meaning that they have been allocated to different chunks of memory. Uh, similarly, if uh, we would have uh, had a third uh, pointer defined and allocated it and requested for just let us say 15 bytes again, again uh, we would see that x, x and z would get the same chunk of memory and would have the same address while y would have a different address. So, we could just run it like this so, a small typo here. So, this should have been uh, z and yeah in fact, what we see is x and z uh, have got the same address because they have been uh, z has been allocated the chunk which has been freed by x because it was uh, the best fit uh, for x while y uh, still gets a chunk which was different from uh, that of x. Thank you.